Hi, and welcome to this webinar. My name is Arlen Kundeslan, and today I'm going to talk about integration between Petrel and ArcGIS, two of the most widely used software solutions in oil and gas exploration. Since you're attending this webinar, I assume you're familiar with one, if not both, of the solutions. You know that their usage is inherently different, but Petrel and ArcGIS users still need to collaborate around the same data and share results in order to make informed decisions. In this webinar, I will show how GeoCAP solutions can address many of the common problems that organizations face in making data come together. If you have any questions during the webinar, just click the, web, the button in the lower right corner and type in your question. We will answer you by email after the webinar. Before I jump into a live demo of our solutions, I want to talk a little bit about GeoCAP and what we do. GeoCAP is a software company fully owned by the Norwegian distributor of ArcGIS. We have a wide range of clients across the world from large energy and seismic companies to government authorities and subsea survey companies. Our solution extends the ArcGIS platform with subsurface data management, visualization, and collaboration tools, effectively brig bridging the gap between, uh, that exists between the subsurface and GIS today. We are helping oil and gas exploration teams setting up an integrated platform with updated data and information, which enables them to make better decisions. In this webinar, we are focusing on making data from Petrel available across the organization on desktop, web, and mobile devices. Specifically, I'm going to show you how you can bring well data, interpretations, and seismic into ArcGIS Pro and how you can make this data available in portal for ArcGIS. A key component of the workflow is our Petrel link for ArcGIS. This consists of a plugin inside Petrel, which lets you write data from Petrel project directly to an ArcGIS geodatabase. In the image here, you see that you can select any well or folder of wells and write them to a selected geodatabase. The well heads, trajectories, tops, and logs are all written to the database. And we'll take a look at how that looks uh, in a second. In this next picture, you can see the same menu, but this time we're exporting an interpreted horizon to the geodatabase. Again, you can select multiple horizons uh, to export at the same time. At this point, it's important to mention that a process or workflow can be set up to automatically synchronize the Petrel project with a geodatabase. Now let's take a look at the Petrel data in ArcGIS Pro. So here we are in uh, ArcGIS Pro and to the right, you can see the geodatabase uh, with the exported data. You see you have the wellheads, well logs, tops, boreholes, and two horizons that's been uh, exported from Petrel. We can start uh, by looking at the wellheads and add those to the map. You can see them uh, at the Gulfax field here. Uh, if you open this in uh, the attribute table, you see that they have um, some metadata from the Petrel project. We can then take a look at the well trajectories. Let's give them a better color here. And these um, trajectories are, of course, uh, 3D objects. Uh, so we can take a look at them in 3D 
uh, first I want to show you that these uh, trajectories are, you have multiple trajectories that are linked into uh, one wellhead. So again, you have a lot of metadata from the Petrel project in the attribute table of the, of the feature class. So now um, you can uh, create a new scene here if you want to look at the data in 3D. So I have a 3D scene here and you can start adding data to the scene. Uh, so we'll add the boreholes to the scene. Uh, we have the well tops that we can add. And we can label the well tops. And then to be able to show the interpreter horizons in a good uh, way, we can create a shaded relief from that. So you select the, I can add it to the map first. Select the color ramp. And then create new layer. And you can tile the windows here to look at the data together. So here you have your 2D map and you have your 3D view of the wells and the interpreter horizon. Uh, you'll see that uh, there are some data sets here that are in, in contains well logs and so on. Uh, and that's something that we'll take a look at when we get to the uh, web interface. But first I want to talk about uh, seismic data. So the 3D seismic cubes in Petrel are stored as set GUI files. And GeoCap has developed a solution which make, makes it easy to access these seismic cubes and visualize them in a web browser with no duplication of data. The first step in the process is to generate a live trace of one of the multiple seismic cubes uh, or one of our multiple seismic cubes. Uh, this can be done using our tool in ArcGIS Pro. And you see this tool here. So I open this and here you see that you can select a, a folder with segwise or a single segwai file. So in this case, I'll select a single segwai file that I have here. You select the coordinate system. Uh, UTM 31. And you select where you want to store this. So in this case, I want to store it in the same geodatabase for convenience. And the resulting feature class will get this seismic cube name. So then I can start that process. And uh, what happens now is that it um, picks the 50, 50 time slices in the middle of the cube and generate an exact outline of that uh, where you have live traces in, in that area. Uh, and the result uh, is a feature class with a polygon. So if you would run this on multiple cubes, you'd get one feature per cube. 
Again, this process can be automated, so you can run this on all of your cube, uh, cubes on on, um, on file. Uh, most companies have them stored uh, in, in folders and subfolders based on UTM zones and so on. So the tool has finished now. You can refresh this. You see you have a seismic cube here. And we can add that to our map. So here you see uh, the outline of that, that seismic cube. And you see that uh, where you normally would have a rectangular outline, you actually get a live trace outline here. So you can actually see where you don't have data. So in this particular area, you don't have uh, data. Uh, if you look at the attribute table in, on this uh, feature class, uh, again, you see that there is some metadata from Petrel. And one important part here is the URL. So this gives you the actual path to uh, where the SegWi file is stored. And uh, I'll show you the um, what the, uh, the importance of this is when I get to the web-based solution. So what you can do as a next step here is to publish the data the way that you normally publish data uh, from ArcGIS. And then you can uh, go in and look at the data in, in your portal. So I'm not going to publish uh, the data now uh, I have this set up in the portal already. So here I am in my uh, portal, and you see I have the the same data sets here in my portal. And from here I can, of course, uh, create a map. Uh, you see we've already created a Gulfax map here that um, contains the data that we have published. You have the wells uh, with the outline um, and um, and uh, the well uh, well tops and uh, and so on. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the portal and web app builder, you can Continue here and share this as a create a web app. And then I can show you what that looks like. So you get into Web App Builder. You can configure you can configure this app. And what we've done here that, that we've added these widgets. So these are custom built widgets developed by Geocap. And you can just add them. You see here, Seismic 2D and Seismic 3D. You can add them as widgets to your application and, uh, uh, and deploy that uh, application. So what happens now is that these widgets would pick up the data that you've published uh, that contains wells and seismic data. So here is the finished application. I can now do a selection here. So I'll move this up here a bit so we can have space to the 3D window. I select the seismic outlines and some wells. And I click on the widget here for viewing in 3D. So this 
viewer now picked up on what I selected in the map and uh, show shows that data into the 3D window. And here's the importance uh, of that link to the uh, to the set GY path that you see here. Because this viewer is now streaming the seismic directly from that path. Oops. So, and here I can mu move the cross lines and browse around in the cube dynamically. And it's streaming the seismic live from the set UI file on disk. I can also manipulate the seismic here by changing the color table and also changing the amplitude mapping range of the, the viewer. Uh, you also have uh, the well paths that you can see here. And here we uh, automatically pick up the well logs and associate them with the correct uh, well path. So you, if you expand one of the wells here, you'll see the well logs and you can turn on the gamma log, for instance. And you can visualize the, the different well logs. You can of course also bring in the uh, horizons from the from uh, ArcGIS server. So you have the seabed here. And you have the interpreted horizon. And if you want to add more elements to the map, you can just select another well and it's visualizing that in, in the 3D view here. You can turn on the, the well, well log here as well. And what's nice is that this viewer is connected to to the map. So you see that when you move around in the 3D view with the sections, it shows that in the in the map view. So if I want to move that over to the the wall lock that I just recently displayed, I can move the sections down there. Okay, so at this point, I want to recap uh, the solutions I've shown in this webinar. First, I showed you how you can push well data and interpretations from Petrel to a geodatabase using the Petrel plugin. Then I showed you how you can read live traces from set GUI files using the set GUI tool in ArcGIS Pro. These tools are covered by, by what we call the Petrel link for ArcGIS. Oh, you can see in the in the orange here. Then I showed you that you can publish data to ArcGIS Server and Portal, and how you can use our custom widgets to configure an application that lets you visualize the data. The streaming of seismic data to the application is enabled by the Seismic Server, which is an extension to ArcGIS Server. Together, these solutions form what we like to call a subsurface portal. And, what, and we see numerous areas where portal like this would be valuable. This list is long, and I think the key takeaway is that subsurface data no longer needs to be locked down into desktop applications. By making the data easily available, we increase team collaboration and productivity, 
and enable better decision making. With that, I'd like to thank all of you for joining this webinar. I hope you found it valuable. And if anything I showed today sparked your interest, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks again and have a great day.